Today we're going to do some water science experiments and they're super easy. Miss Peterson actually showed me one of Micah's sister's experiments and that's the one we're going to do first. And she thought it was so cool that you guys should see it too and I agree. So you will need an Expo marker, which you all have because I sent one home with you. You'll need a dish and I chose one I could see through just because I wanted you guys to be able to see it. Um, I'm not sure if it works with plastic, but I think it works best with glass. Um, and then some water. It's cool to be kind. So let's see. A lot of people draw a stick figure when they do this experiment. I'm going to draw a kitty cat because Cheddar Baby is in the other room and he is always wanting a shout out. So let me draw. Let's see. See if you can see me drawing my kitty cat. <laughs> now I'm not taking as much time as I normally would. And my kitty cat kind of looks like a bunny rabbit, honestly. <laughs> so there's my kitty. Can you see it? Oh no, can't really see it. I think the, here, can you see it now? Okay, let's see what happens to this kitty cat when I pour water. I'm going to pour it from the other side. And see what happens. So, something that's important to know about science experiments is that sometimes they don't work. And we've kind of talked about that in class before. And I figured that out today. It did not work with my glass pan that I had earlier. So I decided to try it in another pan. And I don't know if it's gonna work this time either, but it's okay if it doesn't. That's, it's called troubleshooting or problem solving, thinking about what you can do differently. So I have my kitty in here and I will put it down so you can see. And let's see if my kitty does what it's supposed to. Micah, don't tell. My kitty did not do what it's supposed to. It fell apart. My kitty is supposed to float as a whole. And so, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that maybe the problem is that I drew a kitty. Maybe I need to try a stick figure like the rest of the people who've done the experiment. What do you think? I'll try. Okay. Okay. So I drew the stick figure and I got a different pouring mechanism. So I thought, well, maybe I'm pouring the water too fast or maybe it just, I don't know. So let's try it out. Okay. I think it's going to work. My little guy is floating. It looks like he's swimming. Can you guys see that? Look, he's floating around. How did that work? Should we try something else? Should we try a design or a shape? Let's try it. Okay, so I chose to do some shapes. Tell me what they are. Square, triangle, heart, we know heart, circle, and, ooh, do you remember it? A diamond or a rhombus is the fancy name. Okay, let's see if it's gonna work. Well, it kind of 
fell apart like my kitty. They definitely came off, but I'm wondering if it's the color of the Expo marker. I don't know. But I still had fun, and I'm not, am I saying, oh, I'm no good at science experiments? No. I'm just saying, well, I had fun, and I learned. And I learned how to problem solve, which is an important life skill. So let's get ready to see if things sink or if they float. And you can do this with anything in your house that your mom and dad say it's okay with. <laughs> Alrighty, round two. And I can't believe I forgot to have you guys make a prediction last experiment. So let's go ahead and make a prediction every single time. If we think an object is going to sink or if it's going to float. First, I have to use my pitcher and fill up my little water. And you guys can see. All right. Now let's see. This is a foam ball. Do you think it's going to sink or float? What's your prediction? Let's see. What does it do? It sink or it floats. And then we can put it on a towel to dry off. All right, what about this? Now this seems a lot heavier. What do you think? Ooh, that sunk quickly, didn't it? All right, we can put that on to dry off. Let's see. Ooh, what about this straw? Oh wow, it floats. That doesn't even fit all the way in there, but it still floats. Let's see, what about a, what coin is that? Penny, penny, easily spent. Copper, brown, and worth one cent. Okay, you think it's gonna sink or float? Oh, it sunk. Like all of, oh, what about the rock? Sunk? Hmm, what about a cork? What does it do? It floats. Very good. Let's get all these guys out. Dry them off. Let's see. What about a feather? Sink or float? What if I push it down there? Oh, pops back up. Whoop. <laughs> hmm, what else should I try? Let's see a paper clip, because it's pretty light. Oh, it sunk. What about a button? Oh, that sunk too. Well, you know what, I have another button. Let me see if it's gonna sink. Now that was a plastic button. This is a wooden button. Hmm, sink or float? Oh, that one floats. I'm not really sure what this is, but I found it, so. That sunk? Hmm, let me go find some more things to see if they sink or float. All right, I found some more things. Are you ready? I want you to be thinking about what you're going to gather, too, okay? All right, what about cotton balls? They're pretty light. They're kind of like feathers. Let's see. <gasps> wow. That actually, watch again. That actually floated and then sank. That was a slow sinking cotton ball. Very interesting. I wonder if you wring out the water, if it would do it again. Oh, nope. <gasps> Very interesting. Okay, let's see about a seashell. That was a little slower too. Watch again. Kind of like a boat. Hmm. Slowly sinks. What about this? Oh, wow, look how big. <gasps> it's soaking up all the water. Look what happened. What do you think if I squeeze the water out? Is it going to go back to being small? 
Nope, it stayed big. That was a surprise. Oh, there's my Cheddar Baby. He wants to be a part of it. All right, Cheddar, what should we do next? What about a sponge? You think we should try a sponge? Uh-oh, it's absorbing. It's getting bigger. It's taking up the whole thing. <laughs> Cheddar, this water is not for you. Let's see, what about some clay? You guys have clay at home? This is a, what? Well, cheddars. Let's see, we're gonna have to break it in half so it'll fit. Oh, that just sunk right away. I think I knew that. Hmm, rubber band. That floats. Can you see it? Can you see it, Cheddars? <laughs> Let's see. What about a... Ooh, what about this rock? This is some pumice. Do you remember the pumice that I kept calling hummus? It floats. And you know why it floats? It's because it is porous, just like this sponge and this one. <laughs> So, you all can gather anything that you can, that your mom and dad say you can, and see if something sinks or floats. And, <clears throat> and I want you to make a prediction every single time. Okay? I can't wait to hear about it. Love you guys. Bye.